Welcome back to another one of our choice hunts. You know, in today's video, we're in Alabama at the annual Gamo Squirrel Master Classic. We had lots of fun at this trip with everyone down at the Southern Sportsman's Lodge and got to spend time in the woods with the 4-H kids. We've got a lot to share with you and hope you're gonna enjoy it. The Squirrel Master Classic is an annual event where we all come together with the mission to raise awareness for the need to continue the outdoor lifestyle and enjoying the outdoors with family and friends for generations to come. The Squirrel Master Classic is set up with outdoor TV personalities, kids and their parents from the 4-H shooting sports programs, national outdoor riders, and incredibly talented squirrel dogs and their handlers. This total event encompasses two days of excitement, challenges, and sharing the outdoors with the 4-H kids and their families. What do you say we do the, the we team? Do the, we do the yeah. team? Come on in here, team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What right. team is this? The choice. Uh, the choice. choice. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We got to meet our 4-H family. Walker and his dad were so awesome to watch in the field together. Creating memories, laughing, hiking, hunting, and all of us sharing that common bond that the outdoors brings every single time we get out there. RJ and Aubrey were with us, and to see another generation enjoying the great outdoors and sharing time afield with family and friends is just another win-win for the Squirrel Master Classic, and it's goal to keep families in the outdoors safe and creating memories that will last three lifetimes. You know, I can remember growing up and heading out there with my Red Rider BB gun, just going out there plinking, having fun, and just, well, didn't know it then, but I realize now that it touched my soul at an early age, and I would never look back. This year, we had the Gamel Swarm Viper 10X Gen 3i air rifle. The Swarm Viper is great for small game hunting and plinking for all ages. It's smooth, it's accurate, and it's a blast to take out and have fun with. The brake action charging is lighter and easier than ever before and allows us to keep shooting. Hey, listen, if you want to learn more about the Gamo Swarm Viper Gen 3i, click this link up here or look in the description down below. Overall, we had a blast share in the woods with Walker and his dad, all the riders, the dogs and their handlers, and now it's time for the final count. All right, let's get that squirrel count going. We're gonna crown our champion here real quick. Bone collector two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we got it. Six squirrels on their total. Woo! Buck commanders, bring your squirrels. 14 and 15. For Buck Commander, 15 for Buck Commander for a total of 27. All right, the choice. Bring your squirrels up here. You brought some shooters with you this time. That's right. That is a lot of squirrels. Just double checking everything here. I don't trust Ralph. 15. No, Ralph. 16. This is the most they've shot in eight years. 
I was going to give it to you. 17. 31. Woo! Woo! Let's go with America's team. The first winner of the Squirrel Master Class of the Buckmasters team. Let's bring up. This could be the greatest victory since the U.S. hockey team beat Russia. If we come back from six squirrels and win this thing. 23. 23. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, a great camelback squirrel out skating. 40 points for Jack Mack! 40 and 23, what is that? 40 and 23 is what? 63! 63! Game, set, match! Good job, Jack! Yeah, Ralph, you beat us. Dick, gummit. So let's bring it on up, Ray's hunting. 27 and 28 for raised honey. 28. All right, bone collector one, bring me your squirrels. So you have to have how many squirrels to win? Let's just go, let's look at it. 30. 30 squirrels to win. Is that right? My math has never been good. 30 squirrels to win it. 29 to tie. Do you have a tiebreaker? Okay. If it's tie, it goes to the choice. No, yeah. <laughs> tie goes to the first winner. <laughs> Three. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight squirrels. Race hunting has won it again by two squirrels. All in all, we didn't have a bad showing. We didn't win. <laughs> But we ended up in third place with a total of 31 squirrels. That ain't too bad. But in reality, it's not about the score. It's about getting those kids away from the computers, phones, and screens, and being alone in their rooms. It's about bringing families together to learn, share, and experience what the good Lord gave us to be stewards over and learn to manage. It's about the great outdoors and its ability to bring everyone together. Listen, it's time we understand that if we take the time to share the outdoors with the youth, then the outdoors will be there for generations to come. This, pretty simple, is what Daisy and Gamble have always been about. And we are proud to have the opportunity and honor to play a part in doing just that. Listen, if you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, thank you all for watching and have a great day.